Hello! I captured a screenshot. Hooray. So this is a thing I felt like doing. I was going to do the original Command & Conquer, but it's such a massive pain to record, so instead we'll do Generals and maybe Zero Hour. I'm not sure. I'll probably only do one campaign from each, so... I'm still undecided on that, but probably only one campaign from each. You can buy the game and do the others if you want. A few things to mention. I haven't played this in years. Absolutely years. So I'm garbage at pretty much anything related to it. Uh, second, we will be doing the USA campaign, and we will be doing it on normal difficulty. Actually... Mm, I probably should do it on normal, but we'll do it on hard. And if I fail horribly immediately, I'll just scrap this footage and you won't know. Meantime, enjoy... enjoy... enjoy a thing. General, I am Lieutenant Eva. I will serve as your comm officer for our campaign against the Global Liberation Army. We know the GLA have access to lethal biological weapons, and we have tracked these weapons to Baghdad. Our troops are assembled outside the city and await your orders, sir. Hooray! I think these loading screens are actually uh, limited until the video technically finishes and then it just kind of loads the rest of it really quick. Seems like what it does anyway, I'm not entirely sure. Also, I hit the desk already. Sorry. Check out that sweet 20 frames per second. This is such a silly intro. I believe the tanks are invincible during this, but it's irrelevant because we're about to do, I believe, the same exact thing minus the invincible tanks. Yeah. Woo. I always like how the tanks are, or everything for that matter, has like a delayed explosion. It's a little weird. Anyway, this is the first mission. I don't think you get a base on this mission. Do you? Oh yeah, you do. Never mind. You do get a base. It's not much of one, and I don't think you can actually build anything, but... Pretty sure. Yes. Hello. And we... I would like to build one of those. Can I unlock that? I can. Let's build a number of those. Let's build that many. Put them over there. You can do whatever you want. Ready for action. I'm gonna leave the rest of that crap there, because I don't care. Armor detailer, Raise right. your hands, because you just don't Serving care. Freedom. Just blow all our money on that, and Come then all of them. you can be controlled too, and you can have Break that. There you go. Have fun. Now then, if you've not played, do these guys do anything? I don't remember. Nah, they just fly over. If you've not played Command & Conquer Generals, it is Command & Conquer Generals. This is it. Woo! Not terribly complicated, it's your standard thing. You've got your war factory, builds vehicles, barracks, builds people. Uh, this is your money, right here. This is your energy, which is irrelevant for this mission. Mini map, standard affair. You can close that if I want. And down here is a little promotion system, uh, which is mission or skirmish specific as well. Uh, early on it won't matter, it's more specific for skirmish or multiplayer, but as you kill things, uh, your experience goes up and you can unlock certain things, like for instance here we have a Paladin tank, a Spy Drone, and an Emergency Repair. Freedom. I picked the Paladin tank because they have the ability to shoot down missiles, which is pretty useful. Um, how much are they? I think they're a K? 1100. Probably afford one more. Uh, they're at the same speed as a regular tank, I believe, and they do the same damage as a regular tank. I'm not exactly sure on damages. Uh, the main difference, of course, is they can shoot down missiles, and that will help primarily when we start going against... Well, missiles, but there are... 
missile launcher defenses somewhere. I forgot what they're called. Little camo nests with uh, missile launcher dudes in it. Somewhere around here. I don't know where specifically, but Is there a threat? they will get that as well. I would like you to not die, but you appear to be stuck. There you go. I didn't realize they came towards you. I thought I could just kind of sit here forever, but nope. We should have enough stuff to just steamroll the rest of this mission. It shouldn't be a concern. There's a lot of scripted stuff on this mission, so... Like of that. Hello. Stuff in the uh, buildings will get killed by scripted uh, helicopters that come in and drop stuff off. After this mission, I believe we start getting into the more meat of the game, which is the base building and then attacking thing. Also, I don't know why it runs at 20 frames a second. That's just how this game works. At least when it's doing this, it runs at 20 frames a second. It's quite bizarre. Also, best use of Skull Launcher. General, Washington orders us to enter the mountains and destroy the enemy Scud Storm. Okay. That's poison. Don't step in it. We are going to go to here. Zone. Someone is missing a thing. Heavy armor ready for Not you. Not you. Oh, it is someone from here. Oh, there you go. I have one of those. Also, we're running over people. That's fun. Command. I may as well just mark all these as one. Can I do that? I can. Anyone missing? Don't know. Everyone's control one. There you go. Have fun. The reason we're going over here is for these dudes, which are pilots. Doesn't make any sense in this context, but... Pilots are basically... Yeah, whatever. I apparently started the script on that. Let me, do, let me not do that. <laughs> I'm running it in windowed modes, it's a little finicky. But these guys are basically free experience. They are essentially people who've escaped a destroyed vehicle, usually aircraft, which is where the pilot thing comes from. Um, I believe you can put multiple in one vehicle to continue to rank them up. I don't think that's a good idea, though. But I only really care about the paladins being ranked up, so let's see if that works. I think it does, yeah. Let's get a rank 3 one, because why not? Not the most efficient use. I believe you can get two rank 3s and, like, an extra something. So those people have jumped in. I'm actually gonna kick them out. What are you talking about? There's no anthrax there. Chill out. These are basically just gonna be fodder that are just gonna run up there. These, actually, I may as well use them to trigger it. Towers like this in this game, when they fall over, they do deal damage. So, uh, if you can knock a tower over, it's generally in your best interest to try to do so. Because it will then fall on something that, and then deal more damage than you just shooting it will generally do, but I could probably just kill all this stuff anyway using these guys as fodder because the AI is retarded. Hooray, retarded AI! That's probably a thing I don't want to shoot, but I'll do it anyway. I think I've got too many things. And again, the only reason I'm using them is for... Are they going to script another thing? I don't know what they're doing, but whatever. It did script another thing. Do I get more dudes then? Hooray! Free dudes! Oh no, I have to do it. Well... Fine, I'll do it. All these... These guys will eventually win, it looks like. Taking a sweet time about it, but hey. That's one of the things you can do with uh, these things. I don't do it very often, because really it's only ever useful at this point in the game, so... Later on you can just get flamethrowers or... I guess, uh... Tank U.S. doesn't actually get flamethrowers, do they? No. So I guess it is viable for them, but hey, what happened to those things that drove around over here? Mountain perimeter breach. Enemy closing. I don't know. Either way, Unit lost. all these guys are probably gonna die. Not the most efficient use of fodder, but hey! Usually I just leave them in the buildings because there's really no reason to have them. There's also really no reason to have 
that spy drone because the freaking campaign shows you stuff all the time. Like that is our objective. We know where it is. Of course, you'll always know where a scud launcher is, so that's kind of a poor example. But hey, you guys are way behind. Where's my rank three at? There he is. Enemy Man. tanks have the high ground. Request air Roger. support. Roger. Big bird on the way. I don't really need Special you guys rushing in there then. Always prepared. As your vehicles get experience and get ranked up, uh, I believe it's a carpet bomb that shows up. Fuel air bomb, maybe. As they get experience and ranked up, they will gain more defense and more attack. I do not believe they get more health, but they do get the ability to auto repair. So, generally, it's pretty good just to have ranked up dudes. Rank three uh, will get extremely high rate of fire, extremely good damage, and extremely fast auto repair. So, if you can get even just a few. Rank 3 uh, vehicles, or aircraft, or infantry, or whatever, it becomes infinitely more useful as an army in general. In terms of these little things I've built on my vehicles, this is a US only thing, or whatever faction this is, I don't actually pay attention. The little drone things, those are machine guns and they repair their host. The spy drones are spy drones, as to be expected. They give you a much increased view range, but they do not repair your host, so they don't repair the vehicle they came with. In Zero Hour, there's another one which fires missiles, and it's really powerful. Like, extremely powerful. I really like using those. Uh, they don't do terribly well against infantry, but they do cause a little bit of AoE. Click the thing. Thank you. Little finicky. And there's one of those dangly things I was talking about. It's gonna shoot down all my drones, but it's kind of irrelevant because we don't keep vehicles between missions. We don't keep anything between missions, I don't think. This is a super easy mission, as you expect, because they don't have a base, and therefore the difficulty of the AI is irrelevant. I believe we bombed that, so we don't even have to shoot it. Your objective is to kill that stinger site, I think. Oh, you guys couldn't even kill it, could you? Jeez. You had one job! That dude's gonna die. We have two rank 3 infantry and a rank 3 Humvee. Humvee here. Let's go for it. Yeah. Good job, Humvee. Baghdad secure. Congratulations, oh, yeah. General. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah. Do a circle of victory. Congratulations, Humvee. My unit is under attack. Probably because you're standing in anthrax like idiots. And we get this at the end of every game, including skirmishes and all that. Kind of irrelevant for campaign, but hey! I gathered resources, blew up buildings, lost units. Yay. Let us rejoice and move on to the next mission. Supposedly this game takes like 16 hours to beat. I don't know if that's all campaigns though. We have so. tracked terror cell leaders to Al Hanad in Yemen. We believe the leaders behind the biowar attack are hiding in the city. Our Comanches are scouring Al Hanad, searching for these criminals. Save the captured pilots. I wonder if the Comanches get shot down. Hmm. And I don't remember the significance of the pictures in the top right. I, maybe it's just units that are used in this mission. I don't know. Look how they have screeching sounds. Wow. That was good. I don't know why those people just don't shoot you. I mean, I know you're surrendering, but they're terrorists. I don't think they would care. What a dramatic it is. It's great. And of course you can put humvee people in humvees, I forgot about that. They are held in secret locations around the city. Devise a plan to bring them home, General. No. And now we can build a base, which is mostly irrelevant because we have a base built for us. I will, however, give you tow missiles and build five of those. We also have this dude, who's really good. He's your special, basically. The third party Comanche up there. Basically, he just murders things for you. 
He's pretty much terrible against infantry, but he can blow up buildings and he can, or sorry, uh, vehicles. He can blow up buildings and Is there a threat? murder infantry very effectively. This is another super easy mission because once again the AI doesn't have an actual base they can use. Plus you get these Humvees that are like pre-built. Pilots remaining. Three. There's a hospital which wouldn't be bad to have, but whatever. I'm just gonna clear out the outside area before I actually get too busy trying to murder this little deal here. Which has a rank 3 pilot over there. Hello? And a mob. Which does not have AKs. AKs for everybody! I believe this is a map that expands. Could be mistaken, but hey, what can I build? Pretty much nothing useful. Sounds about right. Polished and ready. And we still have basically no resources, so I'm gonna build a few tanks and then like be on my way whenever these guys are done. Did I build the tow missile? I did. Tow missile adds to the Humvee. You can see all possible upgrades for any object, or unit, or structure, or building, or whatever by clicking on it. You can see what it has will be colored in, what it doesn't is grayed out. Uh oh, being attacked. Better quickly run away. Oh. They're pretty much dead already. Never mind! Hooray! Free experience, and as long as we have those drones, my tanks will auto repair. So. This is a US defense. It fires missiles. If it's in range of another one, they'll help each other and give bonus range to attack a specific target. Other than that, not a whole lot. They also have fire bases, which are arguably much better. Just in general, much better. Some resources. There's a lot of resources right there, actually. If I need them, that's a good place to grab some. What are you doing? You dangleberry? May not be a good or a bad idea to grab that. I'm gonna try and come from that side. That way I don't have this problem of choke points and all that. Assuming my vehicles all behave and go the manner with which I want them to, that guy is an idiot. Just killed himself. I should put more rocket dudes in these Humvees. Really good are Humvees when they're fully equipped people, as long as they have enough support to keep them from dying. Keep in mind I don't have auto repair or anything like that on these guys. That's a mob! Mobs are a GLA thing. Uh, whoop. Not expanded. They will auto resupply. There's some sweet flips going on there. They'll auto resupply as long as there is a person left. As long as there is a person left in the group. I'm losing some drones. Those are also GLA things that hurt a lot. I wish they didn't. Congratulations, sir. You are a tank that should not be over there. But you are. You're an idiot. I lost a Humvee. Let's take you and this Pathfinder that I'll never use. Not the best use of that, but hey. So that's Pilot 1. That's a group I'd rather not deal with. You know, since we have the dude, we may as well... No, not you. We may as well build a supply thing over here. Uh, no, don't do that. Stop. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, stop it. We never get you. Oh, we did. I just had to put you in somewhere. Okay. Get in that one, don't you? Hopefully you're enough to deal with this. Probably not. Let's build some Humvees. Have you repair that. Get rid of the vehicle first. He's good at that. You know, you could help. Be useful or something. I don't know. I wonder if I could put Pathfinders in those. Probably not. Two piece? Eh, yeah, just keep it at two piece, why not? And apparently we're getting shot at from off screen. You are now red. Why is that? I don't know. That's because he has the pilot in him, that's right. I forgot about that. I hope he's gonna die, because those rocket things hurt a lot. No, he's not actually dead. Here, have a repair thing. Don't drive that way. Run away! You died. I did leave a pilot, though. Pilots are great! I'm gonna lose that other tank as well. 
I hate mobs. Mobs are really powerful once they get AKs. It's kind of ridiculous. And I lost someone else somewhere. They're losing people to mobs like crazy. Because you aren't doing anything. Mr. Really Good Against Infantry over here is being a douche. And blocking my tank. Look at him. He could have been doing this all day. He's terrible against vehicles, but he could have been killing mobs all day. Jeez. Be useful. You're getting that building. Oh yeah. Have fun. What was I doing? I don't ever replace all of my dudes now. That's probably a good idea. And I don't have enough money to do anything. Ah well, you're a dude. I really wish we'd stop being shot off of the map. That would be great. I know you're missing one, but I don't have any money to which to replace it. I could just build a couple of these and just tell them to fly over there. It wouldn't be the most efficient use of resources, but... It would also mean I don't have to build another depot. I haven't gotten close enough to actually count as rescuing him, despite the fact there's nothing around him. General, our base is under attack. Hello. How are you guys? Map suddenly expanded. That's what's been shooting me. Nice job, sir. Douchebag McGee over there. Eh, this could be a problem. Or it could not be a problem. That also works. I thought they were going to attack that guy, but they appear to just be doing circles, so... Whatever. What's going on over here? A whole lot of nothing unit I don't need lost. to deal with. I lost a unit. They killed my pilot. USA yeah. Armor Division. They're very rude, these yeah. fellows. Sounds good. Very rude. Come along, Loud friends. I'm not even going to bother to build. Train for perfection. Whatever. I'll take anything you give Ignore that guy. Moving on. He also has a knife attack. Which can be useful, but really, I never use it. Essentially what it does, when he shoots normally, he loses his stealth, which you can see because he's fading in and out there. Also does it on the mini-map, but that's so hard to see. What? What's no. the story? I'm sorry, what? what are you doing over here? I don't know what you're doing over here. Go back over there. Sounds good. Anyway. When he shoots, he loses his stealth, um, which means he can be fired upon, which makes sense because he's shooting. However, if you use the knife, it doesn't do that, therefore you can be more stealth, you can be sneaky and knife a bunch of people. I don't really care. There's a lot of detection units in this game anyway, so... We have two rocket dudes. We have many things. Hey, I did a thing. Oh, look, the Apaches are helping. Good on you, Apaches. Is there a... there is. So they're probably not going to last long if they actually move in. Which, realistically, they would, but hey. Alright, back off. Run away. And now, hopefully, they can deal with it. You. Move slightly away and shoot that. Also kill that, because it hurts a lot. You can't tell the drones what to do, but they'll generally target whatever the host vehicle is shooting at, I think. Other than that, they just kind of shoot things. You're being murdered. I don't care if they kill the drones, I prefer they not kill the Humvee, though. I prefer they not kill any of the vehicles, they can kill drones all day, though. What if they build anything out of this? I doubt it, considering they have no form of income, but hey, maybe they do. Really should shoot that down. Not shoot that down, blow that up. Return him to base. One of them's dead. Technically, I can't fulfill that objective. And once he gets in his vehicle, there we go. And there's their attack, their counter attack. Which the only thing out of this group I'm at all worried about is these freaking buggies. Which have great range. They're basically artillery for the GLA. No health though, so... 
And our objective is basically just to get back here. I don't think it matters... I think you need one pilot, but I don't think it matters, you know, which one it is or how they get there. I'm not sure what that tank's doing, but he has a pilot in it, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you just come over here. Again, not very hard mission. I think I only have one pilot left, yeah. You are the sole remaining pilot of your group. You are almost dead. You're now in a building. Hooray! His health is irrelevant because he's in a building. I guess their reinforcements are done. That little cross on the minimap, by the way, is him. That's your hero unit. Come along, buddy. You don't have all day. I could have built infantry and used that, but whatever. Obviously, it's irrelevant. Once we start hitting later missions, it becomes much more difficult to actually get anything done in this manner. You are victorious. Just build units and plow them through. It's not the most efficient means. She might probably expect. But for the earlier missions, it will suffice. I mean, I could, you know, use proper units against what they have, but, you know, tanks. Paladins are great. Paladins for everything. A U.S. division has been ambushed by the GLA in the Hindu Kush mountains. Our forces are falling back with the GLA in close pursuit. Take command of a small Comanche base near Salang to cover the retreat. Do your best, General. I believe this is one of the missions I actually remember liking. If it's the one with like a, a valley in the middle. I just like, yep, it's that one. I just like how this first part rolls. It's kind of interesting. I do like how tanks can fire while moving. I mean, it's kind of handy to not have to worry about telling your tanks to directly attack something when they're moving. It's pretty useful. Anyway, Comanches. General, mm. USA forces are fleeing through this area. Use Comanches to defend our troops and help them to escape. Surprisingly Destroy ineffective. As many GLA pursuit vehicles as you can. We go on an A-10 stealth fighter and repair. We can build all the stealth fighters, and we could build a second one of you, and I don't think we actually have another point we could use. Anyway, this is basically the mission. It's essentially guard these dude mans, and I think they can shoot from off map, so for now you guys can just chill there. Go over there, you fire right there, it'll take them a while to get there. And I'm pretty sure we're safe with grabbing these guys too and sending them out. It's not going to be just one wave, and they will bring in anti-air, but, you know, should be capable of defending ourselves here. What we need is that, and that, and then more Comanches. Apparently only two. Let's cancel that. There, there is a resource collection over there. How does one get to that? All the way around. Alright buddy, I don't know if you can make it, but go for it. And two oil depots. Pretty good. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pile all our stuff right here. And we're going to try and defend as many of these dudes as we can. I believe it's a quantity that you need through, not a specific amount of each type, just X number of those. By the way, the reason stealth fighters are good, they have much less ammo than raptors, but they cannot be shot at until they fire. So, you know, they're pretty darn useful, to say the least. And those Comanches are on defense, so they will defend everything in this defense area, as will these. These dudes, however, I'll be trying to manually deal with. Hooray. It's not actually 75. I believe you need 100 total. So, And he is going to get there safely. Doesn't matter which way that's facing, because it's helicopters. And we could capture that. Do we have